out of Chicago. Yay, Jason. Yay. Hey, Jason. Hello, hello, hello. Hi. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Good. How are you? Good morning. All right. Cooling in the studio. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, Mr. J. So tell us a little bit about yourself for those that don't know who you are. All right. Well, for those that don't know, I'm a tattoo artist here out of the south side of Chicago. Um, been tattooing professionally for nine years. Um, I own my own private tattoo studio. Um, illustrated a couple of books. Um, so, I, I, you know, and I do a little music on the side. So it's a love of mine. Um, yeah, music as in that. what? Singing, rapping, writing? Oh, I, I can't sing. My voice too deep. <laughs> but I can't say, but I can rap though. I can. I, I okay. Can I've always did the rapping. Um, ever since I was a kid, putting words together. So it was always something I like to do. Always something I enjoy doing. Okay. Danielle Johnson said hello, J Envy. What's happening, Danielle? How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> wow, what? that is awesome. You gonna give us a couple of bars before before the hour yeah. is up? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe, 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 enjoy drawing and how did you get started tell us uh well i've always like loved the art of tattooing the first time i've ever seen anyone do it i saw my mom do it i was a kid my mom did a tattoo on my auntie it's <laughs> old school hand poke jojo on the arm and i'm like mama you can draw people's skin and she said yes and ever since then i was just i was in love with it Around 12 years old, she wow. bought me my first tattoo magazine. I begged this, I begged her, like, yo, mom, please give me this magazine every time we're going to, because they would have those magazines back in the day. In the 90s, they would have those magazines behind the register at the gas station with the porn and the adult Playboy magazines. Uh -huh. like, that was like so taboo. You know, <laughs> I never understood why she didn't want to give me those books until I got the book and you have people <laughs> full naked, full body suit tattoos, but it was art. It was mm -hmm. art. It was a beautiful thing to see that you had serious collectors like that. And they was wearing these artists' work on them like that. It was just amazing. It was amazing to see. Wow. Okay. So how long have you been actually drawing? Because you really have a serious skill there. I'm looking at some of your pictures in the background there. Mm -hmm. And you really have some nice work there. Thank you. Thank you. I've been drawing since I was three. So I've been drawing okay. for a long time. That's my first love, drawing on paper. And then I saw it later when I saw my mom do it on skin. And uh, it was a long journey getting into the business, though. As a, as a young black man getting into the field of tattooing at the time that I was trying to get into it. Uh, mm -hmm. From the moment I turned 18, I got my first tattoo, little, little Bitty Mighty Mouse. And I'm talking to the owner, which back then, like now it's a little different. But early 2000s, late 90s, early 90s was biker white owned tattoo shops. So you going in those tattoo shops and you getting a little flash on the wall, some some type of Sailor Jerry uh, flash or something like that, and uh, they getting you in and getting you out. And they really don't care about you or nothing. They getting you in, and getting you out. So uh, them guys wasn't really trying to give me a, a shot at learning the art of tattooing at that time. You know what I'm saying? Oh it was, wow! It was, a, it was a, a real like tight knit biker gang type uh, pro white. <laughs> community mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So okay. a lot of us, a lot of black artists went underground and was self-taught. And some black artists got good at it because they're naturally talented. They got good at it and they brought other black artists in and started teaching them how to do it. And that's mm -hmm. actually how I got on. Uh, a young black artist by the name of Philippe taught me. He brought me into the business. Saw what I was doing and was like, yeah, man, I can, I can show you how to do this the right way. And he took me under his wing and it, Took about, I won't lie, it took me about 10 years from being 18 to 28 until, because I was 28 years old when I met Philippe, to actually get into the business. But that's just how persistent I was and mm -hmm. getting into it. It was, it was something I really wanted to do. Mm. That's good. 
So did you get in, I'm sorry, go ahead. So did you get in a lot of trouble when, when you were in school about drawing? Because I'm sure as, you know, learning, you know, drawing <laughs> as a kid, I know that you was doing that in school because I remember making little hearts and the bubble letters when I was in <laughs> high end grammar school. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, you get caught by the teacher doing it. You in trouble now. I never got in trouble for actually drawing because the mm -hmm. teachers liked what I was able to do. So a lot of them were kind of like in awe of what I was able to do at that age. I think the only time I got in trouble for drawing something, I was in eighth grade and you know, young teenage kid <laughs> that influence around you, your homies influencing you. And they like, man, draw this, draw that. So I was just, I actually drew like a, a, a inappropriate gang like scene. Uh -oh. <laughs> I was a kid. It was a comic oh, strip. Wow. And this was the first time that I really knew that I could possibly be an illustrator, if need be, because he was he was just basically describing everything he wanted me to draw on this little <laughs> sheet. And I basically <laughs> made like a live comic. And it was funny oh, to the point where even though I got in trouble, the principal didn't even want to like suspend me, suspend me. He kind of gave me in school suspension. He and probably he wanted it. Draw. <laughs> I don't even have my drawing no more. He took the original drawing from me. No, I feel that's why I said I knew he took it. Yeah, it, took it, <laughs> it was crazy. And my friends who are they watching this, they know who they are, they know what they asked me to draw, and they know it was on that paper. We just gonna keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> they got you in trouble. They got me in trouble, but trouble. I took one for the team, though. Mm, okay. Wow. That's good. That's a okay. lot. That's good. Go ahead, Ursula. Ask your question. I'm sorry. I, I don't know why. No, it's it's okay. I want. I just wanted to ask you about something you said. You said, um, "I never heard it expressed like that." You said collectors, um, and you was talking about tattoos. Is that what you call people who get like the multiple tattoos? Yes, yes. Because okay. you have you have people who get tattoos, right? Some uh -huh. people just want to get something to express themselves. To form a change, bad breakup, you got to cover that name. And you have <laughs> some people who really are into full body suits. They are serious collectors. They get, and you wouldn't even never know it because some of them may not even have it on their neck, but they have a full body piece full under their clothes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so they, they're collectors. Yeah. I never heard I'm that. A collector. <laughs> I'm a collector. I got a, a body full of tattoos and I'm going to collect more. You know, it's a way of me expressing my art for the field that I'm in. Wow, do, does, it, does it become addictive? Because it seems like some people start becoming addictive to tattooing. It's like they get a tattoo, and all of a sudden they go on to get another one, and then they go on to get another one. It's only addictive when it's good, when the work's okay. good. Every person who don't who got one tattoo and don't want to get another one, it's because the work was horrible. Mm. You know, that's not it, true, Jay. Because well, if that was the case, I, 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 that's not the reason why I didn't. I'm not getting another one. That you still got hurt. one cover up, though. You that, already said you want. Yeah, to get but that cover stuff up. hurt so bad. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I wonder how they do it. Because I'm yeah, like, that, it, 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 it's like well, it don't I was hurt. in tears. Well, today uh -huh. in today's world, though, there's so many things that they can use to help with the pain. Like there's yeah. so many. Brands of numbing yeah, cream you don't have to because help with the pain. Let me show no. y'all my, my tattoo. And, and some people are, I just, you know, pain enthusiasts. Oh, wow. That's oh, mine. That's and that old. thing hurt us so bad. Oh, my goodness. You had a cover up, though. Yeah, I had a cover up, but that you had to get a cover up. So, cover up. So y'all see that? That's a yeah. big one, too. So, a cover up is when you put something over an existing tattoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How do they? How do you do that? Because I'm, I'll be looking at some of the ones I, I've seen some of your the work on Facebook of how the before and after, and I'm like, well, how did he do that without it showing the other tattoo that was there before? How you know? You what? can't even see. You don't even see any indication of what the other tattoo look, was when you see the finishing product. Honestly, um, I really don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, just, it's just kind of it kind of kind of comes to me. What I do is, um, I look at the existing tattoo. I see how bad it is, how big it is. Um, certain tattoos are, are are more difficult to to cover than others because they could be rose in the skin a little bit. They could be the skin could have been pre previously overworked. You know what I'm saying? So I always try to find an image that's bigger and that has enough detail to draw your eye away from what I'm covering. 
So it's kind of like mm -hmm. almost like tricking your mind. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get rid of that tattoo. It's there. Mm -hmm. What you're doing mm -hmm. is just covering it up with something. So you basically, I'm, I'm basically 